What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today we're gonna do a guide on how to play Brawl Ball and to help me do that I got a very special guest. We got Sensei Adam. What's up, man? What's up? Glad you have me. I really love your channel, bro. And let's get that tutorial done. Alright, so if you guys don't know who Sensei Adam is, he's another Brawl Stars YouTuber like me. He does a lot of strategy stuff, so make sure to check him out, give him a sub. And we also did a smash and grab guide on his channel, so check that out as well. I'll put a link in the description. But today we're covering Brawl Ball, so let's get into that. I have a bunch of questions for Adam on how to play Brawl Ball. So, first off, Adam, let's start out with what sort of, like, team comps you do for Brawl Ball, or, like, what sort of roles are in Brawl Ball, because, like, every game mode has certain roles, usually, so what would you say are the roles for Brawl Ball? For Brawl Ball, it's kind of different than other game modes. For me, there's two specific roles, but you could break it down in three different roles. All right, the number okay. one is the goal score. Usually, this is a Mortis or any other tank, like an old Primo or a Daryl. Right. And the number two role is, like, let's say it's a defensive player or somebody that can break a wall. So, I would say somebody like a Cole or a Shelly or even a Terra. But a Terra, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really call her a wall breaker, but she's more of an offensive player where you can just use her super in order to go ahead and trap everybody while your goal scorer go, goes ahead and tries to score a goal. But mm -hmm. a team comp really matters on like the specific maps. What I would say is for Backyard Bolt, you want somebody like a Mortis or a Primo to be your goal scorer. The yeah. Mortis, you can easily just like evade, especially if you have a skilled Mortis and try and get to that goal. A Primo, usually, this is how you want to use Primo. Once you want to try and charge up his super as fast as possible, once you have a super, get your teammates to pass the ball over to him, and if you see a clear opening, like towards the wall, you toss the ball right at the wall, use your super to jump on the wall, and just toss the ball over there. If there's nobody in that area, you should be able to get that goal really easy. Mm -hmm. But, usually on backyard goal, I would say a team comp if you want to use Mortis as your goal scorer would be Mortis, Shelly, and Colt. That's like the okay. best team comp because Mortis, you really need to have somebody break those walls. Yeah. If, if nobody breaks those walls, it's really hard because they're gonna you have, you're gonna have to go through two choke points to try and get that goal. So try and always have somebody break those walls when you're a Mortis. And when you have a Primo, it doesn't really matter to break the walls because he can do it that himself. So, yeah, he just jumps. I would yeah. go like with somebody like Terra, who's really good on the offensive end. So like when Terra uses her super, you can have Primo do his super jump to try and kick the ball, go to the ball, and score that goal. So if you have a Primo, I would say something like, you can have a Colt or a Shelly plus a Terra, or maybe even a Nita. But mm -hmm. that, that's what, those are my team comps. And I think okay. I would say the same thing for Pinhole Putt because it, it's almost the same map layout. He just has a wall and another wall in front of the goal so you can do almost the same thing. Okay. But on Pinhole Putt, I don't really play that map way too much because those team comps like, usually have a thrower, but let's say somebody has a Barley. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. they can't break the walls with that. But if somebody has a Dynamite, if they have a Mortis on the opposite the... team, isn't that the pinhole punts the one with the grass? Isn't oh, yeah. it the Wait, grass square? No, it's the one. It's triple dribble. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. The one with a bunch of walls. Yeah, it has a bunch of walls. So, For sure. yeah, on that map, I would advise going with the thrower, but probably Barley and maybe like a Mortis or a Primo to score. But I don't know mm -hmm. about the third player. Maybe a Terra, maybe a Shelly. Probably yeah. a Shelly. Shelly would make sense, right? Right. Good. Good tank counter, uh, good defense. Yeah, tank counter, she can still break walls. Pretty good. How, how do you feel about... I'm seeing some more Poco and Jesse and Brawl Butter. How do you feel about those two? Poco, he's a good defensive player, but the only thing I have against him is that he's not very good at... He can't break any walls. But you're seeing right. a lot yeah. of them, especially when you play backyard bowl, because there's just that wide open medium range area where mm -hmm. he can just thrive, like his attack just mm -hmm. denies a lot of players. But the problem is, let's say there's a Poco versus a Primo, and the Primo's just running up to the goal. The Poco can't do anything to stop him. 
or yeah, a, def a like defensive player like Shelly or a Cole, like she can still provide pressure and the Primo is going to think twice before just walking that goal in. Yeah, and right. Like Jessie, I know she's pretty good because of those bounce shots and her turn is also good. But the same thing applies, she just doesn't do too much damage at close range, so, so Primo just walking into the goal, she's not going to be able to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that was some stuff on team comps, those are great tips. What about, would you say, what would be your best overall tip or most important thing to keep in mind is for Brawl Ball? Well, like I already covered before, walls. Break those walls. A okay. lot of the times I see people not even breaking those walls and it's just there in the way. Because let's say the other team mm -hmm. just try to attack your like your goal and you successfully defended it. Now you're trying to push right. up to the other base. If yeah. those walls were broken, it would be really easy to make a counterattack and score that goal. But if those walls are intact, you can just you have to go through that choke point and usually go right near where they spawn at. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Number one tip, break the walls. My number one my number two tip would be okay. let's say you're on defense. I see a lot of the people just grouping up near their goal, like all going together. Usually I probably wouldn't do that. Like what I would do is have okay. one person near the goal and the other two people try to be in the flanks. That way, let's say they have a Colt, they can't just like aim in the middle and get some free shots on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, spacing. Definitely yeah. always important. And mm -hmm. my last tip, like if we're doing a top three tips, would be when you're trying sure. to attack and you, let's say they're doing that same thing, they're just staying in the middle, you probably want to have somebody like your Shelly or your Terra just throw a super, and then your goal score not even mind going for that and just try and go in and walk in the goal. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, Shelly super definitely stun, a lot of damage, yeah, it pushes it back. stuns it for like a second and it makes them slow down, so when you see that as your goal score, just try and dodge them and go for the goal. Okay. All right, so what about... Um, we talked a little bit about passing, but what about if you're not a tank? You're saying if you're a tank, you know, pass it to them. So if you're like a Colt or a Shelly or even a Jesse or a Poco and you get the ball, like what do you want to be doing in those situations? All right, usually when you get the ball and you're not a goal scorer, this is what I would do. A lot of the times you just want to toss it back to the tank or the mm -hmm. Mortis. But some of the times, like when I play Mortis, I just toss the ball back because I'm gonna go aggro. I have three dashes, I'm near one of them, so I just wanna start using my dashes to do some damage. Mm -hmm. What I would do is just hold on to the ball until you see like your tank wants the ball back. Or what you can do okay. is just toss the ball at the wall and bounce right. it off in a certain way so it goes right back to you. And in that span, you can use like two attacks if that's what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. Or third, if you, let's say your team is being cornered, a lot of the times what you see people mm -hmm. do is just toss the ball back into your corner because usually yeah. they can't go ahead and go into the corner and score a goal from there. So if you're in a really bad situation, just toss the ball back there. If like, mm -hmm. let's say you're in a 1v3, your teammates are going to spawn in five seconds. Just toss it back there, do the best you can, and they're not going to be able to go over there and your teammates are going to be immune when they spawn. And that's just my best tip. Okay, that's a good tip. What about, what would you say is like some of the most common mistakes you see in Brawl Ball? Alright, common mistakes. One, one that I see very often is a misused super. So, let's say okay. you have a Shelly. A lot of the times you see people just trying to get her super down at the edge of her range. What you usually want to do with Shelly is try and get close to a tank. It's because usually it takes very, very a very long time to kill those tanks. So just have Shelly yeah. go next to a tank, use her super, and usually you're gonna have a second super loaded up instantly and you can use it again. And it just mm -hmm. obliterates the tank. And a, a second tip is that when you, some, when you use a Colt, a lot of the times I see people just trying to use their super just to get some hits off. Like I said before, don't mm -hmm. do that. All the time mm -hmm. when you get your first super and your second super with Colt, you want to try and destroy the walls as fast as possible. So yeah. try and get the middle walls, try and angle yourself to get the middle walls and the goal walls in the same super. That way just two supers makes their entire side just wiped out. 
so your team has a clear path to go ahead and score some easy goals. Okay. Those are also some more good tips. Let's talk about some map specific stuff. So we talked a little bit about Backyard Bowl, you gave a bunch of tips on that. But what about uh, Pinhole Punt, the grassy map? Do you have any map specific tips for that map? So for that map, you usually, like, it's usually made like the similar way of Backyard Bowl. Mm -hmm. Because it's still like a medium range maps with just like a few extra walls on the side. So mm -hmm. on that map, yeah. You still want to use Colt and angle it like usually to the left where he gets half of the walls and then go to the right and get the other half of the wall and have mm -hmm. your Mortis or Primo do the same thing. But on that map, I usually see Terra thriving a lot more than Backyard okay. Bull because since there's those two walls, like those three tile walls, a lot of people stay in the middle. So you usually see two groups of two or three people grouping up so Terra can yeah. just go ahead, use her super, and group everybody up and use her three attacks to destroy everybody. She's just deadly on that map. And that's what I would say. Probably you want to have Terra almost always on that map. And then you can either okay. choose Cole or Rico. No, Cole or Shelly, depending on who you want to have. Okay. Do you want to have more defense or do you want to break those walls more to have more offense? Yeah, right. Yeah, I feel like definitely... So there's so many aggros right now, you're probably seeing a little bit more like Terra and Shelly together, some even. Uh, stuff right. like that. Okay, Shelly's let's. Shelly's just really good at destroying those tanks. And since it's like a tank meta, you're seeing sometimes so two tanks in a game. So it's really good mm -hmm. to have a Shelly just to take out a tank really fast. It's honestly so fun destroying tanks with Shelly, too, because you're right. You use your super on you basically get your super right back because they have so much health. Yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, let's go about the last map, Triple Dribble. So you said, try and use a thrower, but do you have any like map specific tips? Are you aiming for certain walls? Or how are you go about trying to score goals or anything map specific? All right, that map has just a bunch of walls. So you probably want to have a Barley. He's still good when the enemy has, a when they have a Mortis. Dynamite mm -hmm. can break walls, but if they have a Mortis, he's just going to absolutely destroy them. But mm -hmm. you want to have somebody like a Primo or a Bolt who can destroy the walls while also scoring a goal. I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't play Mortis there. Usually when I play on that map, I don't see too many Mortises. It's just really tough mm -hmm. for him. So yeah. the team comp that I would probably use on that map would be a Barley, a Primo, and somebody like Shelly who, like, the thing is she's really good at destroying those walls since there's so many walls close yeah. together. But if they have a tank, which you usually do see on that map, you want to focus your super on the tank. So it's just a slippery mm -hmm. slope. Do you want to break the walls or do you want to go ahead and use it to kill a tank really quick? Right. Yeah. All right. Well, those were good tips. Let's talk about what about like at the start of games or after a goal is scored? Um, you know, going for that ball early on is, you know, a big contention point. So do you have any tips for that? Are you going for it right away or what are you trying to do? Yeah, so ball possession in Brawl Ball is extremely important. You want to have the ball possession as much as possible. So at the start, you want to go for that ball like for all of your life. Just go for it. If you have a Mortis, mm -hmm. have your Mortis use all three dashes before you could do it in two dashes, but now his range got decreased, so you need to mm -hmm. use three dashes. Okay. So if you have a Mortis, you have to make him watch out. Like at the beginning of a match, if they have somebody long range, like a Colt or a Spike. You want to use your three dashes, but not in a straight line at the ball. You want to mm -hmm. go like use two towards the ball, but one at the side. So they usually shoot directly at the ball and you can avoid that first burst damage, get the ball, dash back mm -hmm. to your base. But okay. if you don't have a Mortis, let's say like with a Primo, you usually mm -hmm. want to have the Primo go forward, try and shoot the shots while your other two brawlers go towards the side. That way they can provide some support damage and prevent them from getting possession first. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, those were all my questions I had for you. A lot of great tips, and thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really love being here. I love your channel, and you provide some great tips. Well, Adam does as well, guys, so make sure to go check out his channel and the Smash and Grab guide we did. That's all for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.